Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. APC crisis deepens. Only NEC, not Buhari, can resolve face-off. Wow. That's quite um, something. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time we're reaching you today. Thank you very much for your huge, massive and continuous support. We really, truly appreciate you. My people, if you have not subscribed, now would be a good time to do so. And um, if you have subscribed, uh, thank you. We really appreciate you. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. We know of what is happening with the party APC. This sheep needs a proper captain um, and a good stir to lead it in the right direction. Why? Because a lot is going on. And if you look at it closely, if something is not done quickly and soon, it's like a sinking ship that keeps, uh, water keeps getting into. And after a while, if this is not, if caution is not taken and the water is not drained out, it's going to sink and go down the sea. APC is a party that rose up to power in Nigeria coming in 2015 with a complete and uh, wonderful manifesto. And people were excited because for once, uh, people came with a direction citing all the things that are not working in Nigeria. Apparently, it has all appeared to be a scam because uh, the years has come and it's over. They've had one tenor in office, now having the second tenor, yet nothing has changed. It's even worse, I can tell you. We are graduates and now working working in uh, 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 building sites because there is no job and they will not uh, put their hands into what uh, will implicate them or put them on the wrong side of life. My people, to mention but a few, these are some of the things going on in Nigeria. Anyway, guys, let's get into the news and get all the details. APC crisis deepens only NEC not Buhari, can resolve the face-off. There are conflicting signs over efforts at the resolving the dispute within the ruling or progressive Congress, APC. Even as the President, Muhammad Buhari, on Monday, summoned the governors elected on the party platform to a meeting on possible resolution of the face-off going on. Why the governor said they had the president's words on the readings to bring the warning party together. Uh, climbers to the national chairmanship seat of the party and deputy national secretary, Mr. Victor Godom, appears to be saying the face off is beyond Buhari's intervention. He insisted only the national, only the party national executive committee, NEC, can resolve the impending doom. The party is facing. His position came as the current acting national chairman of the party sworn in Wango Bom as the new deputy national secretary, thus displeasing Gadom. And further to this, some consigned APC members Monday stormed the national secretariat and called for the sack of the present corp of National Working Committee, NWC members who they accused of visiting misfortune on the party. Notwithstanding the above development, Godom kicked as he described his suspension as laughable, stressing that the level of impunity and recklessness in APC must stop. He said, I have always insisted at the beginning of this crisis that there is only what there is on, the only way to resolve this issue is to surrender this party to a higher organ that is the best and i'm still insisting that the only way to get ourselves out of the mess is to converge the nec meeting that is the only route out i have been feeling that there is no other route to have peace and justice in this party except through an NEC meeting that has been my decision. 
there has been, there has to be an NEC meeting. NEC is the higher organ above the NWC. I do not see why they are afraid. You have to surrender the organ to, so that the right things will be done. And every other decision that has to be taken by the leadership will be reflected by NEC. So if we do not have NEC meeting, it will be difficult to resolve this crisis. NWC is not the final leadership of this party. Why can't the NEC meet? My question remains. Nobody is answering. On his replacement, Godom said, you cannot smuggle someone into the National Working Committee without an election. Anybody who wants to be a member of the National Working Committee should present himself for a democratic conducted election. You cannot impose somebody on us. Meanwhile, spokesman of the representing APC group, Okmawo, said the aim of and objective of the party are being bastardized. The, legality, the legacy of the President Muhammad Buhari is being destroyed before his very eyes. His hard-earned reputation is being dragged and the, by the inception activities of the National Working Committee of our party, and nobody is doing anything. The present National, the present national Working Committee has, see, has cost us to lose seven states to the opposition. APC has 24 governors before the present National Working Committee. Today, we have 18. Just yesterday, the deputy governor of Ondo State has just left us and joined the opposition party, PDP. Are we making progress or going backward? Think about it. Today, we have four individuals who are members of the National Working Committee parading themselves as the acting national chairman of our party. What a dance of shame. We have been ridiculed. Day, we have been ridiculed on a daily basis. The same working committee caused the party not to, not to future candidates in Zamfara and River State in 2019 general election. Why calling on NEC, the party highest decision making body, to immediately call for an, for an emergency meeting? to determine the NWC, their jurisdiction of work. We also call on President Muhammad Buhari, on whose in integrity the party is still surviving. Senator Ahmed Bello, Tinubu, and national leaders of our party, the President of the Senate, Ahmed Lawa, Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Femi Bajibamila, to support the dissolution of the present National Working Committee if we must move on as a party. Nobody must be sentimental. There are no sentiments in this matter. We wish, to un we wish to emphatically state that any attempt to further keep the National Working Committee is the Working Committee against the party is sending APC into an early grave. We shall not continue to fold our arms and allow our, our collective efforts to be ruined and destroyed by a few collective people. Meanwhile, a faction national chairman of the party, Mr. Hidad Hector, has sworn in Mr. Ban as Godom's replacement for the position of the deputy national secretary of the party. Administering this oath of office in Ban, Ete said he would carry out all functions at line for the, for the office of the APC constitution. This came to force, as Godam wrote the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, not to recognize the Edo governorship primaries held on Monday. Mr. Osage Eze Iyamu was declared winner after defeating two other contestants. Eze Iyamu, who enjoyed the support of the embattled national chairman of the APC, Adam Sushumole, deflected two other aspirants defeated, I beg your pardon, defeated two other aspirants, Dr. Pio Sudubu and Osaro Obaze to win the primaries. The direct primaries was reportedly conducted in 18 local government area of the state. The result announced by the chairman of the electoral commission and Imo state governor, Hope Ozidema, 
Eze Yamu scored 27,833 votes. Why Mr. Why Dr. Pius Odubu, a former deputy governor of the state, came second with 3,776, and Osaro Baze gaining over, over 2,000 votes. However, Godom, in his letter to Einek, stated that he had not authorized and constituted any committee to organize the primaries. My people, you can hear what is going on in APC. It's quite a shame and really unfortunate that these things are happening and N NEC cannot meet. Why can't they meet and give a decisive uh, way forward for this party so that there is direction, there is leadership, and for once they can call the bounds, they can call the heights, the, the depths and the width of what the, the, the duties of NWC really stands for. If some persons are dragging your party down and are going to destroy your legacy, I think you should make hell while the sun shine. Anyway, guys, we don't have any much to say. What are your thoughts on this regards? Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless and bye for now.